and in so doing brings this amino acid inside. That's what GGT's job is to do, is to bring amino acids from outside of a cell to inside of a cell and uses glutathione to do so. You guys follow that? So now that this amino acid is inside of the cell, the cell's happy, it gets lopped off, and then glutamate essentially comes back with cysteine and with glycine to become glutathione once again. So there's, I show that to you because there's a very strong GGT glutathione connection. You guys see that? Um, I, again, GGT, if it's high alcohol issues, uh, what else were you guys taught? Biliary tree, liver dysfunction, that's, that's kind of it, right? Medications. Maybe oh, medications for, for liver or hepatotoxicity, same thing, yeah. So check this one out. GGT predicts increased risk mortality. And you understand, I'll read my, like, maybe it's not just about alcohol. So look at this. It's a small study, so you have to take that. Was, there's only 35 studies that were in this and only about 500, almost 600,000 people. But, but read this, and, read, and I'll read it slowly. GGT, even at physiologic levels, was associated with an increased all-cause mortality and cardiovascular mortality. It also be associated with cancer-related mortality in the general population. And I thought, hmm, maybe I need to pay a little bit more attention to GGT. Maybe it's not just about alcohol and biliary tree issues. Elevated uh, GGT is associated with increased risk of mortality, type 2 diabetes. They say the same thing. Serum GGT. Oh, I notice what I said. What is this word here? Even at what? So what does that really mean? It means within the reference range. Exactly. This one too. Serum GGT activity, even high normal values. What does that mean? But inside the lab range, uh, with, uh, is associated with an increased risk of major vascular and non-vascular outcomes. This was a, a great one. So this paper, I'll just summarize. So GGT, it turns out, is also a marker of oxidative stress. This particular paper suggests that GGT, this is really cool, wouldn't it be cool to know who to maybe give glutathione to? Or who needs glutathione? GGT, according to this paper, is suggested to not only be a marker of oxidative stress, but of hepatic glutathione deficiency. I'll say it again. GGT is, because of its association with the liver, incidentally, because it's used with glutathione, because it's a marker of oxidative stress, is considered to be not only a marker of oxidative stress, but also of hepatic liver glutathione deficiency. Interestingly, GGT is also associated with excess uh, environmental pollutant exposure. But here's the deal. What phase two liver pathway is used to get rid of most xenobiotics. Glutathione conjugation. Okay, so it doesn't matter if GGT is high because of environmental pollutants or if it's high because of hepatic glutathione deficiency. It's kind of this potentially the same thing. You guys follow that? Why is someone deficient in glutathione in the liver? Maybe because they have too many, too much oxidative stress or maybe too many environmental pollutants. You guys follow that? There's no way of really knowing but a high normal GGT is a marker of oxidative stress, potentially hepatic glutathione deficiency, as well as maybe environmental gluten exposure. All right. Uh, early predictive marker, GGT. What kind of moron does Early predictive marker of atherosclerosis, heart failure, arterial stiffness, and plaque gestational. You guys follow this? And it's, when you start reading this, you're like, how can GGT not be on a lab? Okay, it's far too valuable. So they, uh, they go on, glutathione in the liver may be uh, elevated if there's uh, persistent organic pollutant exposure, for example. In many cases, look at some of the other markers on here. GGT is a stronger predictor of disease risk than, have you guys heard of these ones? Lipid, creatine, triglycerides, uric acid, A1C, and CRP. What does that say? That must have been a typo. <laughs> GGT is a stronger predictor of disease uh, risk than any of these symptoms in these markers. Stronger than CRP? You guys follow that? Why is GGT not on all labs, man? Well, insurance, yeah. Well, it's kind of like education today. Like, what classes can we cut out for the kids? Oh, PE, we don't need to do PE. Music, forget music and art. 